What's up guys, welcome back to LSJ TV. To kick off today's vlog, I'm gonna be taking you through my shoulder workout, upper body, but shoulder emphasis workout. This is one of my more dumbbell kind of focused workouts. I kind of like it because it's something different, kind of shocks the muscles, keeps it more interesting, different kind of training to using just a barbell or anything else, just using cables, that kind of thing that people tend to prefer. So as you can see guys, I warmed up with some nice stretches, rolling the shoulders, just doing some general mobility exercises, preparing myself for the workout. So we kicked it off with some dumbbell seated shoulder press. You can do this standing, you can do this seated, you can do it with a barbell, do it with dumbbells, pretty much anything. But one of my favourite things to do is to do it seated with dumbbells. So here I am just warming up with a slightly lighter weight and then we progressed onto the heavier weight. Three sets of eight reps. The form for this guys, if you really want to test yourself, then bring it down just past 90 as you can see me here. And then push back up, pause at the bottom if you really want to test yourself, really want to break down those muscle fibres. That's then going to leave them to be rebuilt and then you'll make gains quicker. Rather than pause reps if you ask me are one of the most underrated things you can do. Pause reps are going to help you take that momentum out of the exercise rather than pushing straight back up. Some people tend to bounce or something like that. It takes the bounce completely out of it. If you can hold there, you're really going to test yourself and you're really going to develop that mind to muscle connection that everybody talks about and everybody needs, if you ask me. If you follow the example of people like Kai Green, if you ever watch any of his videos, anything on his Facebook page or anything like that, then he always, always, always talks about mind to muscle connection. And he is one of the biggest, most jacked guys around. And the things he does, the control he has over his body, you can see by his routine, his swaying, his arm, everything. Everything he does is just down to a T, and that's all down to mind to muscle connection. Just shows you the potential you can have when you really focus on the exercise that you're doing. For so many years and years and years, it just comes natural, it just develops. The next exercise was a chest supported row. I would usually do this on a bench bent over if I was at home, but I decided to mix it up a little bit, kind of shock the muscles. As I keep saying, develop that mind to muscle connection for different different exercises, you don't just want to stick to one exercise, you need to shot your muscles and change up your routine, once the routine is more sustainable, because you're not going to get bored of your training, and you're not feeling like you're going into the gym doing the same things over and over and over again, you're doing different exercises, it keeps it a lot more interesting and a lot more enjoyable for you guys. The biggest tip for form on this one is to really focus on pulling from the elbows, not shrugging or anything like that, this is why people tend to do a chest supported row, rather than stand over bent over row, because that takes everything out of it, it takes the momentum out of it, but this time I decided to hold myself up on the bench, keep yourself stable, make sure that you're pulling from the elbow and squeezing at the top. Again, that mind to muscle connection. It is everything, guys. If you find yourself having to pull to get the weight up, shift your entire body, rather than just keep still and pull from the elbow and contract at the top, then the weight is probably too heavy and you need to drop the weight, drop the ego and lift something that you are more capable of in order to not get injured. Because nobody wants to be out of the gym from stupid injuries, from shifting their weight. You could injure your shoulder, you could injure your trap, anything like that. Nobody wants to be out of the gym. We want to be in the gym consistently making gains. So the next exercise of the day would normally be a flat bench press but I decided to mix it up again. I really tried mixing things up in this workout so I did a flat dumbbell press. As you can see me here guys I like to pause at the bottom. I chose a slightly lighter weight really to shock the muscle. I focused on pause reps a lot more than I normally would today. Really just engaging the chest, pausing at the bottom and exploding back up to the top again. If I could tell you one thing that would be to retract your scapula. If you don't know what that means then all it means if you're standing upright people tend to slouch like this. Retracting your scapula all you're doing is standing like this, see my shoulders turning back, like so, chest out, on the bench, try and have a slight arch in your back at the bottom of your back, and that will be created if you properly retract that scapula. So the next exercise with lateral raises, one thing I love to focus on to really build the roundness in the shoulders. I feel like now I've lost a little bit of weight, you can really see the roundness come out in my shoulders, and I put a lot of that down to my lateral raise form. What you want to do guys is you want to stand nice and firm, you can sit down if you like, but I prefer to stand and really engage that core at the same time, two birds, one stone. And you want to pick a weight where it's not too light, but also not too heavy so you're swaying. Because if it's too light, then you're getting nothing from it. You may as well just be doing body weight. But if it's too heavy, then you're going to be swinging and you're just bringing loads of more muscles into it than you need to. You really want to focus on engaging that lateral head of the shoulder and pausing at the top. That's where you're going to break those muscle fibers down and then control it on the negative. One thing people do is just let it go and then that, it's just pointless. You're missing half of the movement. It's like I said in my video a couple of weeks ago with the lat pull down. If you pull the bar down and then just let it go on the top, if you think about it, you're missing 50% of that motion. So you're not breaking your muscles down as much as you could be. So the same with the lateral raise, if you control it on the way down again you should really feel it. If you pick the correct weight it will really burn by the end, especially on the last set. So pick a weight that's not too light but not too heavy, enough for you to pause at the top comfortably. The same form applies for the next exercise which is upright rows. 
I tend to pick a bar. I like to pick the easy curl bar just because it's nice and easy on my wrists. Pick a moderate weight that's easy enough for you to hold and squeeze at the top, really focusing on that mind to muscle connection. If you really squeeze it at the top by the last rep on the last set, you should definitely really feel it in the top of your neck and on all across your back where your trapezius muscle is. Moving on to one of my favorite exercises, as you guys know this is one of my favorites, tricep push down. This is the only thing that wasn't dumbbell related in this entire workout. It's a nice change mentally to have a break from just holding dumbbells. So I feel especially because of how fond I am of this exercise, it definitely helped me in terms of mentally refreshing me, ready to finish off the workout to my full potential. The same form applies as I say in every single video guys, keep those elbows locked to your side and then push down straight from the elbow, really flexing the tricep and again don't let it just fall up to the top, control it on the negative because that is 50% of the motion. You're getting 50% more work out of your muscles in the same amount of time in the gym if you control it on the negative. So I can't emphasize it enough guys, that mind to muscle connection, controlling it on the negative. One thing I will say with this workout guys is that it was fairly moderate, but I kept the rest time down. It's a good intense workout. You can't really get that across on camera, especially now when I'm talking to you home and I've cooled down a little bit. I'm still a little bit red faced, still a little bit sweaty. But when I was in the gym, I was resting no more than 60 seconds, no more at all. I was very strict with my timing. One, because the gym was about to close, and two, because I had a nice, good, intense workout, moderate weight, but keeping that rest time down. So as I say, guys, the last exercise was overhead tricep extension. You really want to focus on just using the triceps with this exercise, guys, because if you imagine using anything else, if you imagine jumping into it, you're giving yourself that momentum. What did I say earlier about momentum? You really don't want any momentum because it's almost like cheating. You're going to get much more out of the movement if you really focus on that mind to muscle connection keeping it going straight up just using the elbow you can do it with one arm if that helps or an alternative to this exercise is a tricep kickback so people tend to lean on a bench and then kick their tricep back it has the same effect it's the same plane of motion and so you'll get the same gains from those exercises just find something that works for you and then stick to that guys but again as I keep saying mix it up and that is the best way to keep yourself interested keep yourself in the gym because it doesn't get tedious it doesn't get boring and you can love being in the gym it should be something that you look forward to guys people tend to say oh I'll, tra I'll train in the morning I'll train at lunchtime and I'll get it out of the way why would you want to get it out of the way I personally love training at the end of the day, like it's late at night now, it's, it's nearly 11 o'clock and I've only just got back from the gym. Training at night really helps me, it gives me something to look forward to during my day, it keeps me awake, it keeps me alert, it gives me something to focus on. Yeah, sometimes there's going to be those sessions that you just don't want to do, you've got no energy, it's much easier just to go to the pub with your friends and have a pint. But the gym is fun, the gym is a positive thing, it releases all these positive endorphins inside you, which makes you happy. It's an antidepressant, exercise is an antidepressant. What I'm trying to say guys is going to the gym should be something you look forward to, not something you get out of the way, which is a quote I've been hearing a lot of lately, especially from people people at uni when you're tired, you've been on nights out, you've got lots of work to do, your motivation dips guys, but if the gym is really something that you can look forward to, then it will never be a chore to go to the gym. I love going to the gym. You have to motivate me to not go to the gym, I love it that much. And one way you can find this almost obsession, once you see results it becomes an obsession. And the way that you guys can find that obsession is by making it enjoyable, mixing up your workouts, maybe train with a friend, just sometimes train by yourself, stick your headphones on, if that's what you gotta do then do it. No excuses guys, if you guys are consistent with everything you do, then there's no reason you can't reach your goals. There's no reason that you can't do exactly what you want to do. There's no reason that you can't bench press 100 kilos. There's no reason that you can't bench 50 kilos. If that's your goal, then aim for it. I see people in the gym t almost too scared to come into the weight section and I just don't understand it because everybody starts somewhere guys. So don't be scared, just get yourself involved, get into the gym and enjoy it guys. And once you start to see the progress, you won't ever want to stop. I can promise you that, guys. So I've rambled on enough now. I'm going to go make myself some food, and I'll catch you guys later.